Jalen, I know you've been off to a hot start this season, but what Coach just said that, you know, not just your scoring that he's, you know, obviously happy with, but, you know, you, I think you're the team's leading rebounder. I think you had double digits, double double with Miami the other night. Have you always been that active around the glass or just kind of right place, right time this season? Um, I have not always been that active. Um, me and Coach went over a lot of films so I can get active and get more rebounds so I can stay engaged, like when the times that my shot is not falling or when things are not going my way on the court, just trying to get involved in every way I can. Back-to-back 20-plus uh, -back, uh, point games, though, how would you overall describe your performances in the, at the start of the season? Um, I'm thankful that I'm having those performances, but I know I can perform even better because my shot hasn't been falling like I wanted it to fall, but I always just found other ways to score. So that's good to figure out things about myself, just going over film with Coach Dawkins and Coach Morris and Coach Lane and those guys, just figuring out other ways to score other than just having the ball in my hand. So I'm, I'm most definitely glad I'm doing that and figuring it out. You're probably, you're probably still getting used to, to the team and, and play, playing these games. How valuable was the experience going on the road against a, a, a solid team like Miami to kind of help bring you guys together and show you guys where, where you still need to, to improve as a group? Um, I feel like the experience is good. Um, I feel like even having the atmosphere was good, just being down and stuff like that, just trying to fight back. I feel like it was good for our team. Um, they most definitely punched us in the mouth when we didn't respond well, in my opinion. We did at the beginning of the half, but I feel like we just fired too much. So we had to go back to the drawing board and try to figure it out right then and there instead of waiting until the next game or waiting too late. We had to start the game out coming out hard, no matter who we play. When you were down big in some situations, what is Coach telling you to get your guys back in the game? Um, Just get stopped. That's all we were telling each other. We just need to get stopped and play defense without fouling. So the only thing we were just trying to do was just get stopped, try to get up a couple of kills and come back and just push on the break. Now that you've got a couple games in, just how is the chemistry amongst all the guys on the court? Like, you know, knowing where you like the ball and all that stuff. How is that kind of coming together? Is that pretty solid or still kind of a work in progress? Um, everything, um, we, we can always do better. But I feel like just us coming together, um, I feel like we always been a tight team ever since um, the Italy trip. So I don't feel like ne that has never been a problem. But it always can get better. I feel like we struggle with um, getting assists to points last game, I think. So I feel like if we can always get better. What's the uh, game plan for you guys heading into tomorrow's game? Um, just fixing our mistakes from the Miami game. Um, just trying to keep them from not just making threes or getting threes off and just getting easy lanes, easy layups in the lane and stopping them in transition. So basically the same thing versus Miami. Just following the game plan, honestly. You spoke about it a little bit. But when your three is not falling, what goes through your mind and what says, I got to make my shots another way? Um, just either try to give me a steal, go in and give me a rebound because my teammates trust me. Um, they keep telling me to shoot the ball. So they trust me a lot. So just trying to figure out other ways, whether that's getting a steal or getting an assist or just trying to get in the paint or draw a foul, anything like that, just to keep myself going and staying engaged. How important is it to bounce back and get a win tomorrow? Um, it's very important. Um, I feel like we still have a bad taste in our mouth from losing to Miami, who I feel like we should have beat, who everybody felt like we should have beat on our team. But, you know, just trying to get that bad taste out of our mouth and, and just come out and play in the right way and execute. You watch the NBA at all? Are you, you watching games every night? or? You um, majority, I'm more, I'm more of watch players. I'm more okay. watch well, players. Well, who are you? Who, who, what players do you like to watch? Are there some guards that maybe you feel like you're similar to? Or? I'm more of like to watch Anthony Edwards. Um, I like Devin Booker. I like guys like that. And Kevin Durant on how he gets his spots easy and things like that. I like guards like that. Appreciate it. Good luck, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.